Well, I have some bad news for the channel. Good news for comics, bad news for the channel. Um, Batgirl has always been a slam dunk for me. Like, ever since I started the channel, I, re I started it back in, like, November. And I think around January, I found Batgirl. And I feel like, you know how, like, Diversity in Comics has his America Chavez. Like, that was his thing. Batgirl is kind of my thing. And I know Mim Headroom liked doing it too. And it's always been a slam dunk, easy roast. Like it was always just easy to just crap on because it was so bad. And uh, part of that I tr attribute to the young adult author that had no comic book experience that they hired to bring in and write that book. Well, they got rid of her. And they're changing this dumb cosplay costume, too. She's getting a, a Sean Gordon Murphy costume now. Uh, that's issue 27 of Batgirl. That changes over. So I read 25 and issue 26, and I read this. And the new writer that they got, I think her name is uh, Marguerite Scott. Margaret, I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to brutalize it. So I'm just going to say Miss Scott. She's a lot better. Um, she's slowly been getting better. Her first issue on Batgirl was kind of eh. But then she started to get better and better. So 26 was really good. But this, this was actually great. Um, it looks like Batgirl comics are not a joke anymore. I think... Uh, if you were like looking for a female character, this was damn good. I was really surprised uh, how good this was, actually. Uh, it's crazy going from how horrible this book was to uh, like this. I'm, I'm really, I was really surprised. And, and I think that's good, you know. Um, there aren't a lot of good female-led books in comics right now. And that has a lot to do with the fact that they're just... The writers on them aren't good, but this writer is actually pretty good. So the whole premise of this book is there's a serial killer in Gotham. Actually, it feels like a bat book. It's a detective story. It's a it's a mystery, a crime mystery. There's a serial killer, and Barbara Gordon's trying to figure out who it is. So we get opened up. I really like this art style they're doing too. Um, they have this weird. So whenever they do like the like murders or sometimes there's a lot of red and black, it just reminds me of like an old noir style in some ways. Uh, I really like the I like the art, I like the feel of it, and the writer is really impressive. So I looked up uh, Miss Scott and get this, she has a resume that's full of comic books. Imagine if you went and got a person with experience in writing comic books to write a comic book, <laughs> it might actually be good. I was I was so, I was shocked. Trust me. Yeah, we got to get rid of these young adult authors. They're terrible. They're garbage. They are garbage. They can just bring them in here, and they think that these are going to be the answers to uh, to solving the problems in comic books. And that's just not the case. Uh, you need people with comic book experience, and it's it's plain as day when you see the leap in quality of this book and the past books. So anyway. Um, there's a serial killer. You see Barbara trying to solve it. She ends up meeting with this detective and she's trying to figure it out. And she remembers that the uh, murder is like one that she saw with her brother, who, if you don't know who James S. Gordon is, they kind of retconned him to be a psycho killer. And there's a lot of history between Barbara Gordon and him. He was on the suicide squad too for a minute. Um, so he was a killer. And she suspects him, but he couldn't uh, He couldn't be him because he's in prison. So she gets some help from him. He ends up saying, you know, he's got like lovers or like people sending him, sending him stuff, like sending him letters. Also, this book gives you a nice recap of their relationship. So if you pick up this book, you can get a nice uh, recap of the relationship between Barbara and uh, James, which is pretty nice. Uh, so <clears throat> she gives him 
he gives Barbara all of the letters. And so I'm going to go spoilers. If, if you want to know if this is a recommend and some people want me to do that, I will say this is a this is actually a strong recommend. I really enjoy this. This is one of the better comics I've read in a while, actually. Um, I like a good crime mystery. And this whole book is a mystery. You don't find out to the end. She puts the clues together. So what happens is she goes over through she goes over all of the notes that um, of the women, like all the letters the women sent James. And she goes suspect after suspect. And uh, I really, I thought this was really cool. So this was one of them. Look how crazy she looks in there in the asylum. <clears throat> but she finally narrows it down and she finds the real killer. And they have like a little clash. And it turns out that James was helping her. She like, James found her. He figured, he figured out who she was, sent her a letter and... They acted like lovers talking back and forth, and he was giving her clues on how to be a killer. Really cool stuff. This was really good. I was really shocked. Um, issue 26 of Batgirl and 25 of Batgirl were actually really good as well. Um, <laughs> I don't have this book to count on anymore as like a, a fun book to just beat the shit out of. It's actually a pretty decent book now, to be honest. It's a shocking revelation, I know. But Batgirl is great again. <laughs> I don't know if she ever was had her own great book. I don't know. But this this is solid. This was really good. Well worth it. Um check it out. I think it's a it's a great mystery book. It's got great art, good writing, everything's there. So anyway, that's all I got. Check out my second channel, Yellow Flash Productions. It's in the link below. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this or if, you're, if you've checked out any of these books recently and you were surprised as me. And uh, follow me over on Twitch, Yellow Flash Comics. Check out my Patreon if you're enjoying my content. A dollar helps me keep doing this. I'm not monetized. Probably never will be monetized because YouTube does not like the wrong thinkers. And uh, make sure you hit that notifications bell. Subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.